Ayo, duckies, Andy Lippy here. Another day, another move transition update. Let's get into it. Crack that like button and be sure to support the channel by subscribing. Put your rock over the stone. We can get this update either from the OBS forums or by using our OBS plug installer from streamup.tips. If you are downloading the zip folder, you can move the contents of it to your OBS-studio folder that is usually in program files. You will need to replace the old files. For the first part of the update, the move transition now allows for source mirror and source clone matching. If you want to see more about source clone, check out up here and also in the description. If I have a source, in this case a color source, then on another scene I create a source clone and use the color source as the clone. I set the scene transition to move. Now, when I switch between the two scenes, these sources will move to each other's position as if they were the same source. This is also exactly how it will work for Source Mirror 2. If you aren't seeing move in the scene transitions, just press the plus sign and add it. Next up are a few updates to the move action filter. If we create a move action filter, we can now change a source's visibility from the action drop down. We can then select the scene and source from the drop downs below. If you can't see the drop downs, just slightly resize the filter box as shown and it will show up. Being able to select the source and scene means we can actually add this filter to any source or any scene to trigger any other source or scene. We can then set the enable drop down to enable, disable, or toggle. We can also toggle filters in the same way too. I have added a color correction filter to my white color source. We can then add the move action filter to any scene or source as we did before. Select the action, filter enable, then fill out the source, filter and enable drop downs and voila, you have filter toggles. If you've learned something so far, show your appreciation by tapping that like button to support me back please. Another great addition is updates to the move video capture device filter. I want you to comment below if you didn't know this filter was a thing. Now if we add a move video capture device filter, to a scene or source, we can give a camera setting randomization. So if I choose my Logitech C920 from the device menu, then choose the move value type random, I can select which setting I want to control. These settings are from the video capture device properties that you can view by double clicking the source, then hit in configure video. You can experiment with these settings to see what setting ranges you want. I will use the panning setting, I will set the min value to minus 10 and the max value to zero as this works best for my camera. Every time this filter is then triggered, it will randomize this setting on my camera. We can also do a relative move too. So add in the move video capture device filter again, and this time on move value type, we change it to add. I will use my camera zoom in the settings drop down and set the value to something like two. This means every time this filter is activated, it will increase the zoom by two. Pretty nifty, right? Especially if you have something like that insane Insta360 camera. Hmm? Every time I think Exceldro couldn't add any more to this crazy plugin, he knocks it out of the park. If this video has helped you at all, smash the like button and get subscribed. Feel free to support me in the links below too. Check out more move transition fun here. I'll see you over there. Put your rock in for the stone.